Let's continue our part three. Last time we finished off here, and the following is an example. As I said before, we leave an example to a synchronous session. This example, that is an example, continue. That is an example. Here is an exercise question. Uh, you need to do this uh, exercise question after this uh, lecture. Okay. Now, this uh, part is about uh, voltage divider. It means if we have a voltage source on this side, if we have a few resistors, in this case, we have uh, three resistors in series on right side, uh, how the voltage uh, overall over voltage Vis separated into different parts uh, presented um, uh, across each resistor. Uh, we call this is a voltage divider. And so you divide the voltage, overall voltage into different parts. In this case is V1, V2, and V3. So now we have three resistors in series. Uh, according to uh, Ohm law, uh, okay, uh, from previous session, we already we learned the overall resistance is R1 plus R2 plus R3. According to Ohm law, the uh, I is the current. This current uh, go this way. This current I equals Vs is a voltage divided by overall resistance. The overall resistance last time we discussed, we discussed equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is a uh, Ohm law. We, uh, we can calculate the voltage drop on each resistor. We have a look at this uh, circuit again. This is uh, V1 equals IR1. Again, this is a uh, Ohm law. V2 equals IR2, uh, V3 equals IR3, okay. Now, uh, V1 equals IR1. From previous uh, discussion here, I equals Vs divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3, right? That is I, so this is I. Now, we use uh, this, use uh, this part, replace, replace I. Uh, we can have Vs divided by R1 plus R2, R3. Actually, this is I times R1. If we change this um, format a little bit, I move uh, R1 to this side, move uh, Rs to this side. So I have R1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 times Vs. So that is uh, V1. Similarly, we can derive V2. V2 equals R2 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 times Vs. It's the same thing, V3 equals R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 times V3. Now we can uh, conclude the overall voltage Vs has been divided into three parts, V1, V2, and V3. Now each resistor takes a part of a voltage. And look at this, uh, those results again. This is a V1 take a part of v Vs, this overall voltage. Um, same thing, V2 also take a part. Uh, V3 also take a, take a part. Now each part is a proportional to its, its resistance. You look here, V1 proportional to R1, V2 proportional to R2, V3 proportional to R3. So that is a conclusion. When you have um, a few resistors in series, the voltage has been divided into different parts, each part proportional to its resistance. Uh, what about uh, um, what about uh, resistors in parallel? 
Uh, in this case, we have a uh, voltage source here. This is a VS. I have uh, two resistors in parallel, R1, R2. Now, if we consider we have uh, over, overall current go this way, and this current will separate into different parts, go this way and go that way. So yeah, we have uh, two parts. That is uh, current law. So that means uh, I equals R1, R1 plus R2. That is a Kirchhoff current law. Now we know the overall resistance when you have uh, two resistors in parallel equals R2 times R1 divided by R1 plus R2. That is what uh, we learned in, in the past. According to Ohm law, the overall current supplied by voltage source, I look at this uh, diagram again, is overall current supplied by this uh, voltage source, <coughs> according to Ohm law, equals Vs divided by overall resistance, uh, Rp. Uh, we know Rp is this. Uh, we use uh, this, replace Rp. Uh, I have Vs times R1 plus R2 divided by R1 times R2. Now we can uh, rewrite uh, this uh, equation, Vs, uh, I keep this side, Vs equals Is is uh, here, that is overall uh, current. Uh, I move this block to that side, I have R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So that is uh, um, Vs. How can we uh, link Vs and Is together? According to Ohm's law, I1, I1 equals Vs divided by R1. Oh, Vs, here is Vs. Here is also Vs. So I1 equals Vs divided by R1. This is obvious. That is uh, Ohm law. So because we know um, what is a Vs here, we know what is a Vs. That is a Vs. Right? Now we can use this to replace Vs to have uh, the following. Uh, Vs now equals Is times R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And then you divide by R1. Right? Now R1, R1, you cancel each other. Here you cancel each other. Now you have uh, Is R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Uh, that is uh, how we can work out I1. Now similarly, we can work out what is uh, I2. I2 equals Is times R1 divided by R1 plus R2. Now you may notice here for I1, here is uh, R2. For I2, here is uh, R1, as is opposite. So now we can conclude the overall current Is has been divided into two Parts, uh, I1 and I2. Each subcurrent, i.e., I1, I2, is proportional to resistance of the other parts. Do not notice here is the other parts is not its own. Like uh, I1 is proportional to R2, I2 proportional to R1. So that is the uh, opposite. Uh, this is about uh, current uh, divider. Uh, the following is an example. Again, we leave this uh, example to uh, uh, synchronize uh, session. Can we stop here?